five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Until midnight tonight on the east coast of the United States. And here I am, your humble and obedient host, right here. There I am. Yes, it's me. It's me. Okay. I don't know. Goodbye. See you later. I'm I'm a little um, I don't know, I'm not feeling bright today. I'm just all I don't know. I feel like I'm not uh, well. And I don't want to get sick because I got to do that other, that operation maybe later sometime next week, like Tuesday. But if I get a cold today, I'll have it on, oh, it'll be gone by, by Tuesday, so I don't have to worry about it. But I think it's some kind of allergies I've got. You know, when the weather gets weird and everything, it gets to be dust in this house and I start getting all kinds of weird stuff. Anyway. Boy, this picture looks great, doesn't it? You know what I did? You know what I went out and bought? Uh, it'll be here in a couple of days. Uh, I bought a green screen. Yes, folks, I broke down and bought a green screen. Now, what is a green screen? A green screen is what they use on television. Uh, like when the weatherman's there and he goes, here's this and here's that and here's this and here's that. Well, there's a green screen in back of him. And uh, if you ever saw us on our old TV show, when we did the show here as a TV show, uh, we used a green screen to create an entire studio, okay? And what it is, simply, is you have a green screen, and then, uh, uh, then I simply key out the green screen and lay something in behind it. So I can lay in a, a, a photograph of something or a, a pattern of some sort or whatever, and um, uh, so I was, uh, I was, where was it? I was on Amazon, and for 129 bucks, they had this green screen that will take up this much of, of the thing and about that high, okay? It's like over six feet high. And how do I get it in here? Well, it just, you just take it and you uh, roll it down, and it's just, you know, just a flat little thing. So uh, it's very easy to put up and take down. So uh, maybe in a week or so, you'll see me with a different background. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see how that works. Uh, um, I'm, I'm still feeling, you know, I, the, the doctor told me the other day when I didn't get operated on, I told him I was feeling a little fatigued and tired. He said, that's as a result of the radiation. He says, it doesn't really hit you until a couple of weeks later. And I've just been, I've been, you know, I've been dozing in the middle of the day and everything like that. So it has not been good. And then I've got Marjorie is not well either. She's got something wrong with her leg. Uh, we're two old people just getting older, you know. And I want to have as little wrong with me as is humanly possible. Uh, but um, uh, as you know, I was supposed to have a, a little procedure this week, which I was looking forward to getting over and done with, and then we can't do it because the hospital screwed up. I, I, I give up, you know. I'm beginning to think that maybe I should just not take the, uh, do, the do the whole thing, just die from prostate cancer. That would be, you know, the way, it's a way of committing suicide, isn't it? Okay, it's a slow way of committing suicide, but it's a way of committing suicide because I look at the way this country is going and I really got nothing to live for. You know, if I were, as I say, if I were younger, if I were, oh, even just 20 years younger, I think I might consider moving to another country and taking up citizenship there or at least residence there because, um, uh, it, it, this place is going to be turning into a hellhole, okay? The latest uh, uh, evidence of that is our president making Mike Pence the head of 
taking care of our uh, our uh, response to the coronavirus. This was a guy who, in his state, um, took away funding for AIDS and AIDS-related uh, uh, programs because of his religious belief. And, um, yeah, and this is the guy who, and, uh, who is going to be running a response to the coronavirus. He doesn't even believe in science, folks. How's he going to give a response to the coronavirus? And everybody's been complaining about it today. And under his watch, in a time when really AIDS infections have been going down, Oh, he also fought the use of, of uh, giving out uh, needles, a needle exchange program to people who were, um, who were um, uh, uh, heroin addicts. Because if you had a needle exchange program and they used clean needles all the time, then they wouldn't take the chance of getting AIDS, okay? As a result, in his state, AIDS went up 50%. Okay, this is the guy who is going to respond to a health alert, a health problem that we've got going today? No, I don't think so. So when I see something like that happen, I go, oh, my God. And then yesterday, Trump went on television, held a press conference uh, to talk about his initiative to take care of the whole problem out there, the whole coronavirus thing. And uh, gave such a, just a compelling speech that the stock market dropped another 1,100 points today. Yeah, yesterday he gave that speech mainly because the stock market was starting to tank and he wanted to calm everybody down. And all he did was up their fears because they suddenly realized we have a president who's incapable of handling the situation. He got up and said, oh, well, this is that, and this is how it works, and he was acting like Doc, Dr. Dr. Don, okay? There was a jock by the name of Dr. Don, Dr. Don Rose in San Francisco. Anyway, long gone, dead. Nice guy. Anyway, where was I? So I, uh, um, uh, he... Uh, he gives his whole speech about, oh, there's nothing to worry about, and we only got a couple of cases in the United States, and it's never going to catch on here, and blah, 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 blah. Now I'm going to turn you over to somebody who's an expert on this and one of his doctors or whatever that knows about this, and they said, oh, no, it's not a matter of when. You know, it's not a matter of uh, whether it will or not. It's a matter of when. Okay, and they completely went against everything he had said in his speech for what he thought was calming the American public. To him, calming down the American public is not giving them the blunt truth and then having them live with it. His idea of uh, telling them and calming them down is by lying to them. Okay, and everything he was saying in his speech was a lie. Well, people realize that. And today, the stock market went down another 1,100 points, saying, we're all going to die. Now, for anybody out there who goes, well, you know, come on, the coronavirus is just another piece of fake news. No, it's not. It's for real. And we've had a case now out in California, and they found another, I think they're testing another couple of hundred people who they suspect might have come in contact with the coronavirus. And they don't understand this coronavirus that uh, happened in California because the guy didn't have any contact with people who've been overseas or anything like that. So they're trying to figure out how the transmission took place, and they think he may have gotten it from somebody else, like he went to the mall, went into a Starbucks, for instance, and somebody there had it, and he caught it. Okay, So that's what they're really worried about now. And now here in New York, there's somebody being actively tested for uh, the coronavirus. So, yeah, and you go, well, that's only a couple of people. But that's how these things start. That's how, um, uh, you know, the, the kind of situation that we're talking about goes ballistic. Okay? So uh, uh, the fact of the matter is, uh, when I see stuff like this, I go, God, I had to live long enough to see this, huh? 
This is this is why I wanted to live a long life is so I could put up with this. <clears throat> what a bunch of maroons! Uh, I, I don't know. Here's coffee to you. Let me have some. Mm. I need it tonight, and, and I'm also worried I've got got a cold. I'm going to get a cold, and then I won't be able to get my uh, my uh, my uh, um, seed implants. I just want to get that over with, you know. I didn't get any word today on when, uh, and uh, you know what I hate is this other thing about somebody has to pick you up from the hospital. Oh well, we'll get to that later. Anyway, we're well, we're still talking about the coronavirus, so. You know, we're living I mean, in a time when, really, I mean, this man is destroying America. Single-handedly destroying it, dismantling it. Uh, one of the reasons we've had a weak response to the coronavirus, we didn't have enough people in the CDC because last year he let them go. There were just a handful of people left at the CDC now. When right now we could use all the hands on deck that we could possibly have. Meanwhile, Mike Pence is basking in the light of, oh, look at my importance and whatever. But he's not the man for the job because he doesn't believe in science to begin with. So how is he going to be able to judge what science is good and what science is bad? He's incapable of it. Just absolutely, absolutely bleeping lutely incapable of it. Well, I, why, why should I... Why should I make you unhappy, right? No reason to make you unhappy. Um, let me talk to you for a moment about something I used to do. Um, I used to produce a show here in New York City, which is, if I, had, if I had to talk about my successes, my biggest successes weren't my radio shows here in New York. And my biggest successes were in California, when I was at uh, uh, out there at, uh, at Live 105, actually was the station in, in the Quake, and th th that was a that was very successful. I mean, we had a hit show going on out there. Uh, but the other most successful thing I ever did, and the thing I'm most proud of, was a show called Midnight Blue, which I did here in New York, which I produced, directed. And occasionally I hosted segments on, far more than I ever remembered that I had. Because recently a bunch of tapes came out of Midnight Blue for sale, and I actually had to buy them uh, because the creep who runs the company never sent me any. Um, he thinks he has the rights to these things, but he really doesn't, Okay. Uh, because they were never went to copyright. Okay, so so because he puts copyright at the end of his video doesn't mean everything inside that thing is copywritten. Only the, shall we say, the um, configuration. Maybe he could say was copywritten, and I doubt if he could show me a copyright either. And I met with this guy once, and I said, you know, I really don't like the fact that you're using my likeness and my voice, which was on the beginning of every Midnight Blue, uh, uh, without my permission. And he goes, do, you, do I have your permission? And I went, no. He said, well, what if we use it? I said, you can't use it. He said, why? I said, because um, uh, uh, I never signed a release for any of my appearances on Midnight Blue. So you don't have a release for me. In fact, you don't have a release for anybody, to be very honest with you. And more, often, more than that, there are other people who appeared on the show that I know that likewise uh, do not have your permission. Do not have your, the, you do not have their permission to use them. So uh, I, he said, well, what can I do about this? I said, well, you can take me out of everything that you've got there. And he goes, well, that would be like everything. We'd have to change every, all the shows. and blah, blah, blah. We can't do that, and that would cost me a lot of money. And I'm not making money out of this, and I plan to stop this after a year or so anyway. Uh, can't you give me some slack? And I said, okay, here's, here's the deal. You got the tapes. I want them. Okay, so you have to allow me to use any of the tapes or to get copies of the files of those tapes so that I can make my own configurations or use them for whatever I want to use them for. He says, 
deal. He said, uh, um, um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll write you a, a, a letter to that extent that you can have the right. I said, okay, fine. I've never seen the letter, okay? Guy never made good on it. Guy's a slime bag. Uh, and so consequently, I decided I would go out and buy the tapes, uh, at least the tapes that he put together. And then I would start chopping them up so I could show you things from Midnight Blue on this program. Now, there's a lot of stuff on Midnight Blue I can't show you, and I wish I also had a lot of the stuff that he didn't put on these tapes. Uh, but um, I, um, um, I, I decided that I would go through the tapes and take a few things out that we could play here without any, any real problem. And this is one that I really is a classic, okay? And what it was is a um, guy came to me by the name of Joey Skaggs. And he said, you know what I'm starting? I said, no, what are you starting? He said, I'm starting a thing called the Cat House for Dogs. I said, what's that? He says, it's an establishment where we allow male dogs to come and get laid. And I went, oh, sounds interesting. Now, immediately I smell that this thing is really not for real. He said, two weeks from Saturday, bring your crow, crew to this address, and uh, we, you can see the cat house for dogs, and you can do a video on it. So I, I knew it was a phony, okay? I mean, I just smelled it. He didn't tell me, right? He thought he was pulling one over on me, but he wasn't pulling one over on me. But I decided to take my crew, and I made my crew believe that it was for real, too, so that when we shot it, we shot it as though it was the real thing. And I'm going to show it to you now, and then after it's over, I'm going to tell you what happened after this aired, because of all the things we ever did on Midnight Blue, it's probably the most innocent thing we ever did on Midnight Blue, but it also... Uh, had some very interesting ramifications. So, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time with me presenting it, the, and a, a very young me, by the way, look at me. I, I, was, I wasn't bad looking. Uh, uh, the Cat House for Dogs, okay? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Alex Bennett. And tonight, Midnight Blue visits a cat house where all the females are real bitches. <laughs> No, uh, no. You hear me? These are oh, very customers who have responded to various ads and various publications who have agreed to come here with their dogs for the purpose of getting their dogs laid. This is Sarah Brown and Ruby. Ruby is a beautiful Saluki bitch. Sarah will introduce her to you. In, she's a reincarnation of Cleopatra. And now she is a, a street rapper. Betty Drake and Blackberry. And see beautiful? <laughs> you run a brothel for dogs. A brothel for dogs. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, you have advertised it in the... Um, Village Voice. In the Village Voice. The ad reads, and Cat I quote... House for dogs, featuring a savory selection of hot bitches, from pedigree, parenthesis, Fifi the French Poodle, and parenthesis, to mutts, Lady the Tramp. Handler and vet on duty, stud and photo service available. No weirdos, please. Dogs only. By appointment. And with that ad, you have officially opened your cat house for dogs, and that is precisely where we are this evening. Right. Dog's first time. He's never been up here before. This is, uh... I brought him here because, um... I, I felt this is a, a safer place to bring him than this, trusting to the... To the, common, the common street dogs and dogs that, you know, that tend to be illness ridden and have syphilis and gonorrhea. I wanted to... Yeah. <laughs> well, he's a, uh, He's a country dog, and he's used to having ladies around, you know, and... When he doesn't have a run, he's in the city, you know, he, he gets, uh, he gets like this, he gets really mean, and he's hard to take care of, and, well, I don't know if, uh, if it ever happened to you. <laughs> See what I mean? He really needs a woman now, right now. Uh, 
And if he doesn't get one, you know, we're all in trouble. I mean, did you ever, uh, did you ever think what a hickey from an 80-pound German Shepherd would be like? <laughs> How do you feel about her doing what she does? Well, she doesn't have to do anything. Well, we... she has to put out. Well, yeah, but she doesn't know that it's, that it's called putting out. Hmm, she enjoy it? Uh, she actually likes politicians better. <laughs> There is a bone inside the, uh, the penis of a dog, and it grows a, the erected penis of a dog is about a foot long, up to a foot. One of the problems we've had, Alex, is to prevent uh, dogs from literally knocking their joint out of joint, and we have a handler here who assists in the act to, well, the way a dog makes love is to grab a hold of the female, to mount, to insert, and then to turn himself around so they're facing ass to ass. And we've had problems with virgin male dogs who have not been able to swing their hind legs over and face back to back and actually have been pulled apart by the female trying to get away. And uh, that's why we have handlers here. Come on. Kelly must be a... Gully may be a fag, I don't know. <laughs> the purpose of this meeting is to introduce the customers and their dogs to the brothel, to the bitches. And after they've chosen which bitch they wish their dog to mate with, we then inject the dogs with the drug which induces heat. And we have a second meeting. And uh, it's then when they copulate. This is primarily, the first meeting is a social meeting. And uh, the dogs are chosen. And then they're mated. <laughs> Hello. Did anyone ever tell you what beautiful brown eyes you have? What beautiful white hair you have? What's that? We also are planning on franchising this and coming out with bumper stickers pretty soon, which will say, get your dog a little tail. <laughs> well, that's it. That's our evening at a cat house for dogs. And it is for real. And it is run by Mr. Joseph Skaggs. Thank you, Alex. I hope you had a good time. Who uh, means business. I mean business. No kidding around. This is it, right? Satisfaction guaranteed. Alex. Satisfaction guaranteed. Are they going to try and clean up businesses like this for the Democratic Convention, do you think? Oh, I see. Not only in this city, but in other cities. Absolutely. I think we'll get a lot of customers. Have you received any kind of calls from the police? Are the police wondering what this no, is all about? No, not at all. None at all. No, I'm not expecting any. Uh, what can I say about dogs making it? Right. All right. Well, uh, from a, a cat house for uh, dogs, uh, this is uh, a, a Alex Alex Bennett, and uh, we uh, bid you. Oh. Hi. You're kind of cute. You know that. Uh, I hate dogs. And that was the cat house for dogs, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the Cat House for Dogs was... Uh, now, let me explain something about that now. Because here's what makes it so damn tasty, the whole piece. So we did this piece, and if you, if you look at it, well, I told you ahead of time it was a put-on, right? That it was a hoax. That it didn't really exist, and that I had to convince my, uh, my crew that it was real. And we shot it like it was real. And we put it on the air and edited it, it like it was real. And the next thing we know, Channel 7 here in New York is giving me a call. And they say, we were talking to Joey Skaggs. Uh, we hear about this cat house for dogs, and we wanted to go out and, uh, and uh, um, do a documentary on it or a piece on it for our newscast. But he said, uh, uh, no, I, they, we couldn't, but that you had footage of it. Could you lend it to us? So I said, yeah, sure, if you give us credit for it. And they said, sure. And they run it on Channel 7. And they're talking about it like it's the real thing. Like it's absolutely, it, there's no question that this exists. Then, the next thing we know, Joey, who by this time knows that I know what's going on, but that I'm going to go along with the joke, gets a call from the Attorney General of the State of New York, Louis Lefkowitz. They want him to appear before Louis Lefkowitz in Albany. Uh, to, they want to question the legality 
of a cat house for dogs. Now, this is kind of, if you know Joey, he was the maximum hoaxer, and this meant that he had, this, this, this was success, okay, for him. Made him very happy, very fe a feeling of great success, okay? So he goes up to um, see Louis Lefkowitz in Albany, New York, and shows up wearing a picture of Snoopy on his, uh, as, as a T-shirt. Uh, under a jacket. He was very nicely dressed, but he had the Snoopy t-shirt, and then it said under it, April Fool, because it happened to be April Fool's. It happened to be April 1st. And he went in and he told Lefkowitz all about it and said, look, it's all, it's all a hoax. It's all a put-on. And um, uh, finally, after about a half hour of wrangling with the attorney general, the attorney general conceded that it probably, yes, was a hoax because it didn't seem that likely. And that's what happened with that. Now, as a side note, to show you how lousy K uh, WABC here in New York was, once they found out about it, they never told their audience that it was a hoax. They never did another story on it. Now, if you were an honest news operation, you'd say, remember that story a couple of nights ago we showed you about the cat house for dogs? Well, we found out it was all a hoax and it doesn't exist. But they didn't do that. And so to this day, anybody who watched their newscast and didn't watch any of the others to see about Louis Lefkowitz and Joey Skagg showing up at, in Albany uh, would think that there was, in fact, for real, a cat house for dogs. So I consider that we did a great job of filming it, and he did a great job of creating a hoax, and it's just fun that all these people had to, um, had to, had to put up with this. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. What some people will allow to go on. Anyway, let's, uh, let's, let me see here. Let me go turn on where... I always forget where the, uh, where the Skype is here. I don't know why. And uh, I'm going to see if I can get through the show tonight. If I'm too tired by 11.30, I may just call the show short. I, I want to have that right from here on in. Anyway, uh, the lines are now open. Let me put, make this active. There we go. And we're ready to go, I guess. Now, here are some quick actions to get you started. Stay connected. Start a conversation. Open the dial pad. I am so tired of Skype. <laughs> I really am. They are such a... They, they, they aren't... I don't know. There's something wrong. They're not doing things right. Oh, boy. I have that on too loud. Let me see here. Oh, here, here, comes, uh, here comes Phil Meyer, ladies and gentlemen, to start off the, uh, the show tonight. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Phil. How you doing? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. A little tired, but, you know. Uh, is that due to the uh, treatments that you had? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I you know, anytime I I feel like I maybe have a little cold, but I don't have a cold because I'm not sneezing or sniffling. But I'm I'm worried that you know I'm going to be sick before I get finally get to that operating table. You know. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, maybe they got to quarantine you for a couple of weeks. Make sure that virus. I don't have the corona. Let me see yeah. here. Um, there we go. There's Bree. Let's see here. You, uh, you, you're sideways, Bree. That's uh, unacceptable. Oh, not again. Yeah. No, that uh, yeah, that's it's not turning. It's not turning. There's something that's got it locked. I think is what the problem is. Is he on the or are you on I'm an airplane? You know, you should really check that thing because there must be a way of unlocking it. There you go. Now that's fine. It's fine. Okay, I can't see anything, but you, you can't. It's fine see, if you can see me. Y y yeah. No, I can't I, see anything. I not, see Phil. That's it. Well, oh, first you're of all, you're going to really subject me, me to this. Let me, uh, let me, let me see here. Let me go here and get uh, get you into one of these places here. I'll put you in the number three slot. Uh, and this is, let's see here. Um, I oh, there we go, Bree. PGH, there we go. Okay. All right, there he is. Okay. 
You need to, we need your heads a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. All right. Are you on an airplane, are you? Yeah. Where are you going? Uh, Singapore. Singapore? Why are you going to Singapore? Oh, that is a long story, Alex. My, my bank is, is essentially putting my life at risk. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> Let's... <laughs> Let's my let, bank is putting my life at risk. Uh, uh, okay, what you're saying is your bank is making you go to their bank, which is in Singapore, where they might have the uh, coronavirus, right? Is that it? They have what? It, what they have the corona uh, uh, because they're putting you in in the way, in line of the coronavirus, right? That's right. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Security. I could, uh, I could not get it. Uh, sorry, I heard uh, Scott there. Scott, I mean Jeff. Oh, Jeff. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or maybe I'm getting my own echo. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't do it on the phone, and I couldn't do it through registered mail. I have to go in person, as much as I protested. What do you mean? What do you have to do by mail uh, or, or by phone? What are, you, what are you trying to do? Okay. All right, so... Uh, gosh, Please wait, make sorry. this quick and uh, not I too have, terribly boring. Okay. okay. I, I, yeah, I, I have a bank account in Singapore, uh -huh. and I do most of the stuff online. Mm -hmm. But they had my Dubai number, but my Dubai number shut off. You know, after a certain number of months, I thought I updated it. I must have forgotten, or I don't know what happened. And uh, so my token, you know, they give you this little generator thing you push a button it gives a number mm -hmm. the battery died on that so i had no way to go to my online banking so i put a new battery in the token generator it was i had to follow a youtube video it was i don't even hard. know what you mean but by it by a token generator it's like a passcode to make a uh -oh. secure thing yeah. yeah 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 so so end result I have no way to access the online account. Now, meanwhile, I have a credit card that I used when I first came here, and the fees are piling up. They're piling up because I can't pay it. So I have no choice. I have to go. I, so I mailed, registered mailed something there, but it bounced back. It said, we can't deliver registered mail to a post office box. So I sent a regular letter, but I got no response. Now they're $200. So, so far, I'm up... Uh, almost six hundred dollars in fees and i so i have to go down on one end this is the most complicated story i've heard and on the other end one of the most boring <laughs> how, how far is kuala lumpur from singapore i know they're both poor but uh, uh no one's poor and one's on, poor on yeah, it depends on how you go i'm actually on a bus uh you're on a bus there. it looks like yeah. a plane yeah so you, you can take a bus uh, to Singapore from Kuala Lumpur? Uh, aren't they different islands? Yeah. That is a, gosh, that is a whole nother story. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I asked the question. <laughs> I have I mean, enough trouble staying awake today as it is. Go on. <laughs> okay, so the, the airport, if I, take, if I go to the airport, it will take an hour in like what it, we call Grab, which is like your Uber. It would take an hour to get there. Then I got I have to be there two hours in advance, right? So that's three hours minimum, maybe three and a half. Whereas the bus station is five minutes from my office. So it's about the same amount of price, but, uh, you know, it, so it's just a little bit different, but it's about the same. So okay. it takes, it'll take five or six hours to get there with the bus. And it, if you go on the airplane, it's only one hour flight, but getting there takes an hour plus two hour wait either mm -hmm. side. You know what I mean? So, yeah. You know, in California, we think about that all the time. Should I drive to L.A.? It's a five and a half hour drive. Or should I fly there? It's an hour and 15 minute flight, but you got all the other crap on both sides. <laughs> the car. Now, the person I, I switched seats because uh, the person behind me looks very sick. And so I switch seats hoping, I don't know. And I do have masks, and I have a lot of hand sanitizer and spray. So I'll be using that. Well, I, would put, I, I would put the mask on right now if the guy is looking sick behind you. 
she, hey, she is. She, she. So, so you switch seats, and the person you switched with is now going to get the coronavirus. No, I, I mean, I took an empty seat. There, oh. there are a lot of empty seats on this bus. It was showing that it was completely booked online, but uh, that's not true. It's half. Because nobody's empty. traveling, Bree. The sick lady took the whole bus. So she couldn't infect anybody. Do you, do you want to see? I don't. Do you want to see? Yeah, show, show, us, show us the rest of the bus. Okay, hold on. Here we go. It's going to show us the rest of the bus. There's the result of the coronavirus right there, folks. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. Oh boy. What are you going to do for lunch? Uh, pro <laughs> probably, probably throw up and I... then go to a hospital. Uh, <laughs> I do have a charger here, so I can plug in and charge my phone. Yeah. Um, but I stopped at uh, the mall before and got an Auntie Anne's hot dog. An so Auntie. It's, wait it's waiting for me here. They do serve. A, uh, a meal, but because I bought at the last minute, I only, I'm supposed to get a cup of noodles, but I think they have extra because I think some people canceled their plans. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Smartly, wisely yeah. so. Yeah, and if you order beer, don't forget, order Corona. <laughs> their stocks, are, their, their brand image is going down, I read yesterday. Yeah, I would imagine. I would imagine. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to buy some stock tomorrow because I decided that you know it's been a 10 percent correction. This is a buying opportunity. But you don't know I what to buy. I was going to buy Microsoft. Uh, I'm just going to buy the S and P uh, uh, index. Yeah, I, I wish I were back home. I was definitely going to do some buying, but I you know what stock go you, you, you know what stocks are doing very well right now? Not Microsoft or Apple. No. Uh, I, would I may cut in and out on you, Alex. Uh, right, right, right. I would imagine U.S. stocks uh, for uh, vaccines. No. No? What? Uh, Netflix? Stock is up a great deal. Yeah. Yeah, because everybody's staying home. That's right. That's right. Uh, I would imagine... Um, um, movie stocks uh, from for the movie theater chains is probably down. IMAX dropping like a rock. Yeah, nobody they, wants to go out. Also, they have a lot of theaters in China. You know, we had a uh, case that was uh, transferred. A guy never went to China in Solano County. Yes, we uh, know, Phil. It's been all over the news. Yeah, well, it's local for me. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, we, we can only hope it comes out your way, uh, you know, but I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised you didn't think this whole thing's a hoax or that it's, it's a phony scare or, uh, Oh, in the, the Trump virus, the Trump virus is a phony scare. Yeah. 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 Uh, actually, his, he put Mike Pence in charge. You have to, that was, that was a yes. great Smart deal. Uh, well, the guy knows nothing about science, Phil. And what did what did uh, Biden know about cancer when Obama put him in charge? Phil, of we're not. Cancer? He's not president. He doesn't have any part of the government right now. Wait but, a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't give me any of that because I'm tired, sick and tired of your what about isms because it has nothing to do with the fact that they gave Pence a job that he's totally incapable of doing because he doesn't know the first thing about medicine, about uh, about uh, uh, science, and secondly, when he did have a state where he had to deal with a medical issue issue aids went up 50 percent <clears throat> we'll see maybe you learn by your mistakes uh, oh yeah phil come on be, be grow up uh, you're just you're just repeating the talking points. no it's not i'm not repeating the talking points these are facts yeah well we'll see how he does he happens to be the vice president and if he wants to be if he's put in charge of something he's vice president he's because trump says he is the vice president well, that's good enough. Well, no, it's not. Whenever Trump recommends somebody, it's not a good idea. He hadn't fired him. Uh, you're going to keep up with this, Phil. You're really? Yeah. Are you going to slog this old horse? Come feel the bite of my sword! Right. <laughs> yeah, I was going to slog what was the that? Uh, it was a sound. Hmm. Oh boy! <clears throat> I don't know. Did you hear that? 
What? The sound effect. No. Mm -mm. No, it doesn't go over? No, it didn't hear it. Oh, so you you put in one of those signals to the other to the other people. No, you didn't hear it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, I didn't hear it, Phil. Oh, okay. Well, let me try another one that's louder. See if you hear that. No, you're going to be uh, annoying sure with sound that. effects. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to uh, let me try this one. Did you hear that? Did, you didn't hear it, did you, Jeff? I don't know what you're talking about. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Uh, Not at all. Bree? What are you talking about? Well, he supposedly... Did you try to play something, Phil? Was that what it was? Yeah. No, we didn't hear it. All right. Try this. No, don't try again. <laughs> don't try again because it hasn't worked the other times, and I don't want to spend the whole rest of the show with you trying to make sound effects work. Well, you because know, once you, you get them working, I'm going to have to tell you don't play those damn things, or I'm hanging up on you. Ah, uh, okay. Well, you got a conversation? No, I'm I'm all out. I'm t I'm I'm tapped here. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see. So, you think Netflix is the thing to buy because people are going to be staying home? I don't. I I think that they're a little overblown right now on this. Uh, Phil, virus. the stock has already gone up immensely in the last couple of days. Hmm. Uh, do you think there's another reason why? Or no, uh, that's the only reason why. When everything else is going down because of the coronavirus, that anything that goes up is probably because of the coronavirus as well. Well, you know, people aren't staying home from work uh, locally. And, and, Wrong. Well, I know that uh, in China they are. Phil, this, uh, the stocks that are going down are the ones like Apple and so on. Most of the businesses in this country depend upon China for, for part of their living. Wow. I had my best month this month ever mm -hmm. in business. Mm -hmm. Okay, so? Yeah, well, bring on the virus. <laughs> you know, that's what it takes. You know, the fact is that the, the people are losing money like crazy because uh, they, you know, it's just not, it's not, uh, it's not working. Boy. Yeah. Do you think it's going to go down uh, much more? Or, uh... Who knows? I mean, it's gone down 3,000 points this week. Yeah, that's what, ten, almost 10%. Yeah. Or a little 10%. That's a, that's a, a 3,000... Points down. That's not good. And my, my serious stock, which I had, is down something like 30? Something yeah, like that. Yeah, I tried to sell. I was going to sell two weeks ago. I should have. Yeah. It was, at, it was at 740. Well, I, I, the only I reason. made a mental note. The only reason I don't sell my, uh, my uh, uh, serious stock. I bet you'd have to pay tax on it. I'd have to pay taxes on it, where when I sell my Vanguard, the tax is already paid on it. So, you know. Um, so are you required to take a certain amount every year? Yeah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. they, every year. They see send what me, happens. They send me a check. They send me a check this year for about $1,000 as part of that buyout. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, I still, then it, then it went up. So I, I, anything that they gave me, I made back plus some. And now, of course, we're in the toilet. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so, but, so on the same premise, why would the serious stock go up if Netflix stocks go, goes up? I have no idea. I have no idea unless it has something to do with, uh, I don't know, supply. People aren't driving to work. Satellite radio sucks. Well, that that's one reason well, why. People don't listen at home. They listen in their car. Yeah, pretty much. They're, they're, they're not going there. They're oh. not going in. There, there's a serious... Right now, they're not going Yeah. Well, all I'm saying is, is that uh, the Netflix stock has gone up quite a bit. Let me see here. Netflix stock. Netflix stock. Um, it was going down, and now it looks like it's it's up yeah, long one, term, one, one day. Yeah, one place. day. That's short term. One day. Uh, it, let's see. It was going up, and then it's well, it's gone down again. Hmm. Strange. Uh, hard to tell you. 
But anyway, it was up uh, over uh, about two days ago. It took a nice, it took a peak, it took a mm. real peak. Yeah. And then it went, the then, it, then, it, was then, a, then it went you know, down, then it went down. I'm just wondering whether they announced something and they made some sort of change. No, that Phil, well, it has to do with the fact that people were buying Netflix because they figured that they would do more, better business because people will stay home and need to get their entertainment there. That's the reason why. Mm. All right. Jeff, what are you buying? I'm selling. You're you, selling? Don't sell right now. Do not sell. Don't sell. Because, you know... It, 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 I don't know. His wife sold at the absolute best time and the last time. Uh, you know, the, he might, she might have a, like a special touch. Well, I mean, the thing is, it's gone down so badly now that you're going to eat that loss. You know? You, well, you know that. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. You probably right. you don't, you know well, more about stocks and... The amount going down is not, not going to stop by tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Is anybody else going to call tonight, or is this going to be it? I have no idea. What <coughs> there's nothing else going on, you know. This disease has not just happened. It's going to get worse. Uh, they they've known about it for several months. I know that uh, Trump uh, stopped travel from China to the U.S., and I know that Alex went to uh, you went to a party with uh, Chinese uh, people that had visited China uh, recently, didn't you? Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, did anybody get sick in that household since the... Uh... No. No. Okay, that's good. Although maybe that's what I have now. I don't know. Yeah, well, if, if you've got a touch of it, uh, that could delay your operation. A touch... <laughs> You're always the bearer of good news, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> I'm Jewish. <laughs> you, really, you really want to see me. You want to see me. You know what I've decided? You want to see me have a catheter. Not, you, no. You, I, you want to see me have a catheter. You always keep saying I, they're going to use I, a catheter in you. you that know, is you're going to go vision. home. You're going to go I, home with a catheter. Wait a minute. That is not but a But you want me to I have a catheter because you had to suffer through a catheter. And I asked my doctor, and he said, no, you will not need one going home. You're only going to have one while the operation is in progress. Everything they've told you hasn't come to fruition. You go in. You get prepped. There's no operation. Now the story is there's not going to be a catheter. Well, we'll see. I got all my radiation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know. They had to get rid of the radiation. It was going to spoil. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but um, what, what is what is that you're showing us there, Bree? That the entertainment thing. Yeah, I've food got food. Uh, some some Fun. movies. Yeah, yeah. What that movie? I can pick. Well, don't, um, yeah, don't play any of them because we don't want problems. Right. And... No, I, um, I haven't seen Money Monster or First Man. Mm -hmm. I don't know what Bird Mansions is. I don't want to see Bird Box. I did yeah. see Ghost in the Shells, and I did see Guardians. Oh, yeah. Bird Box is pretty good. No, I thought it sounded dumb. Oh, no, it sounded dumb, but it was actually a pretty good movie. What did you think, Alex? What? Bird Box? Bird Box? Bird also got yeah. Asian and health and kids and documentary business. New Malaysia, music videos, mini clips, technology, TED, TED Talks, mm -hmm. travel... I've also got music. What you got is a Wi Fi. <laughs> That's what you got. Yeah. No, English, Chinese, Korean. Mm -hmm. All the places they got the virus, the Trump virus. Really? By the way, I just looked. I, I so far have made five dollars and ninety four cents. Hey, off my monitor. It'll be a full house, huh? That, that yeah. will get you one lunch. Well, if we don't get more people here within the next fifteen wow. twenty minutes, I'm gonna go, go to sleep. You yeah. know? Why, uh, why did you make uh, five dollars? Be on the monetization of those commercials that run before the shows. But the thing is, I have this problem with YouTube, and I finally wrote them today. 
And I said, why is it if I put up two shows that are identical, identical, one of them happens to be your posting of the show and mine happens to be a posting of a recording I make, why is it one of them says I can't have monetization and the other one says I can? I said, there's no consistency in what you do. And I can't figure that one out. Right now, I'm running live, and I said I want it monetized, and it says it can't be monetized. Why? We haven't even said anything yet. Why um, Why are you putting up two? Why wouldn't you just leave the YouTube one up on YouTube? Uh, because, the first one, the, because the first one is, it does not have uh, five minutes worth of promos on it, the one that I'm ah. recording, okay? And the one yeah. that they put up does. And I have to then go in and edit that, but the edited version isn't ready till the next morning. So uh -huh. that's the reason I have two versions of it. Yes. Does that, make, does that make sense, Phil? Yeah, I don't understand why you can't have the promos, but because what? it's part of the show. I don't want those promos there. I want people to get the start of the show at the very beginning. Why shouldn't I do it that way? That's what I feed to mm -hmm. Facebook. That's what I feed to Vimeo. Uh, and that's what I also put up uh, so that people can get a cleaner version of it. You know, that's the reason why. I've always felt that you should just have one version. Um, you know, I never understood why there were two. The reason there are two, I just explained it. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, let me, I, I, I understand it, yes. but I don't get it. The, well, I, because Alec prefers because, no because, promos. Because I prefer a version that's clean of promos that I can use it on on Facebook and elsewhere, and and doesn't have just a bunch of promos at the beginning of it. And so I record one here, and that's the one that goes up and that I post. That one also okay. gets posted on YouTube. The other one has the promos. I do edit them out, but it takes about eight hours for it to be processed. Okay, the edited version. So that's the reason why. Okay, plain and simple. This is the one that I like to put on everything else that I do. This is what I put uh, uh, on uh, on Facebook. I put it on Vimeo. Where else? I use it one other place too, uh, where they just get that version of it. So yeah, you know. So it's a it clean, like Hawaii, clean. Where he is? What? It looks like Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, well, it is it is a tropical climb after all, Phil. Yeah. It's it's nice. Yeah. Um, so is anybody gonna am more gonna call tonight and put me out of my misery or do I have to just uh put up with this? Okay. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I have nothing to talk about. Absolutely well, nothing to talk well, about. Well with all this money that you're bringing in. Yeah. Five dollars and twenty two cents or whatever it is. Maybe I ought to invest in this. Uh, Five dollars and ninety-five cents. I, I, well, that's good. Hey, if you it's sell already it, cutting up for it. <laughs> if you sell the stock, you're going to have to put it somewhere. It might as well be GabNet. That's right. That's right. That's right. Invest in GabNet. Your best yeah. investment. Yeah. 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 This way, Alex, buy a few more uh, things for his show or for the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm buying. I'm buying. I'm buying a green screen. So, oh, really? Yeah. I thought you said uh, you didn't need a green screen with uh, uh, o OBS. Uh, I I don't need one, but I'm going to I'm going to use one. Oh, okay. Uh, because I what? plan on turning out some other stuff too. So I. I and it's a uh, it's a very interesting little green screen. It just it's on a rail and it just goes up and then it comes down. Yeah, I got one of those uh, yeah. from Adorama. I think it was like forty nine bucks for the whole setup, but the rail the rail was so cheap. No, this is this is a this is one hundred and twenty nine bucks, and it's yeah. a, it's a wide kind of like shafty thing, and I then put you, a, you put it down on the floor, and then you just pull it up like this. Oh, you know, and it that uh, you can pull it up three feet, or you can pull it up. I think you can pull it up any number of different uh, heights. And um, it's it's wider than this, yeah. And um, uh, you know, uh, it'll be interesting to try it. I may not use it on this show, but I'm going to use it for other stuff. So but you need four lights, right? No, uh, two to shine at the green screen. No, and 
Put a shine in. No, there. I've got enough lights here with this. Yeah. yeah. And you'll get separation. Okay. Yeah. 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 And if I can't, point, if I can't, um, I'll throw it out. What? At some point, Alex, I, you know, not here on the show, but I do, I would like to understand how you, how, what technology you use, because we want to set up something similar to that uh, later this year at the school where the students can do, you know, their own shows uh, as well. Yeah, I can, take I, can get, I can give you all the information. I mean, the program that I use for doing the video on this is actually free, and it's maybe one of the best programs around, you know. Uh, okay, I've, great. I've tried others, you know, of ones that cost money, and they don't even come close to this. This is very simple, very easy. And uh, and then the other thing and quite uh, I want to set up yeah. uh, with you is that um, there is a journal in our field uh, that I'm very closely related to since they started called Journal of Radio and Audio Media. They used to be called Journal of Radio Studies. Yeah. And sometimes they will allow interviews uh, to be in a symposium section. So like what I want to do is uh, create a series of questions for you uh, mm -hmm. through email and have you answer them. And then I write it up into a piece for the journal. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's that sounds okay. Sounds uh, doable. Right. Yeah. Um, right. But anyway. Um, so um, where did Phil go? Now Phil's left. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. 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 I don't know where he went. No, he's right here. Oh, he's right there. Okay. Yeah. Well, if nobody I else is going to call, and, and, and nobody else is going to call this show, uh, I, 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 I may call it quits in about another twelve minutes here, uh, and uh, and then maybe not do a show tomorrow night. What the hell, you know? I don't. Oh, I, I was going to join you from the Merlion Park. The what park? Merlion. Where? Where? Singapore. Oh, in Singapore. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know. I think I, I think I was on the show when I was in Singapore. I I think you did. Yeah, you show those uh, those big towers. No, that that's Kuala Lumpur. No, no. What? What? Wait a minute. What, 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 was that the place? Kuala Lumpur has the big towers, the two towers that are yeah. stuck together. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the name of those towers? They're famous. Uh, Petronas Towers, oh. and actually. If you were paying attention, we when we go past the gas stations here, they're called Petronas gas station. Okay. A lot of them. Green screen. <laughs> yeah, well, you just got the cloth. This is a whole thing that, you know. Oh, the uh, the uh, other stuff, too, it comes in this bag. Yeah, but you see, this is all in one. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's all in one. You don't have to assemble it or anything. It just folds, you know. It just it goes down into the into the bottom part of it, and you yeah. just raise it up. There's these it's these like, um, like the old movie screens uh, you had for the eight millimeter projectors. Kind of like that, yeah. Except it also has some cross hatches and arms on it, so that it uh, keep it tight, huh? It'll keep it tight, so you don't. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and so that you can also put it at various heights and so on. You know. Yeah. But, well, I got lazy. I bought the thing. I never used it. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I'll get it and play with it this weekend. See how it works. Hmm. You know, if I do it, nobody, I, none of you guys will be able to notice what's happening because all you're going to see is just a green screen in back of me, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> because I don't do it on the. Uh, what you're up above? There's a there's a two level bus. Is that what it is? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Really? Oh, and I bet I bet there's no nobody on the lower level either, right? No, there's people on the lower level. Oh. Uh, it's like a lounge. It's, Those are the ones that aren't sick. <laughs> Boy, that's a fancy no, bus. I don't think anybody... Do we have buses like yeah. that? Do we have buses like that in America? Um, we have those London style buses they use as, uh, around Union Square. No, the, no, no, uh, no, no, no. Wait. Th this thing, he says downstairs, there's a lounge. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have that here in America. I mean, otherwise, Greyhound would still be doing good business. 
Well, they, <laughs> they have those double decker buses. That's what they are. But there's just seats on the bottom and open on the top. Yeah. 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 They're, they're sightseer buses. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I used to take this bus all the time uh, when I went from Singapore up to KL. So now I'm going the other way. Somebody said here, Alex, you should stop complaining about too few callers as long as someone is making good conversation. Okay, well, then I'll keep complaining about no yeah. callers. <laughs> that was a, I knew that was coming. <laughs> Gee, I, I have nothing to talk about, because if I bring up Trump, we're just going to be going at it with Phil, and that's a losing proposition. Tonight, I'll, uh, uh, I'll uh, weaponize uh, uh, with what Pelosi is doing. Trump is killing the people. Trump is, uh, is making life miserable for everyone. He's, he's appointing people that are going to make money off this virus. Mm -hmm. was, yes. <laughs> So, and your point is? Well, I was trying to be as facetious as possible. And oh, I oh, well, I mean, uh, when she's right, she's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, they, they do think that Biden is going to take South Carolina. Uh, that's, what, that's what they're and saying. And you know something? Yeah. You know something, Bree? He can yeah. take Carolina and he can keep it. Okay? <laughs> Said that he was going to win in double digits. Well, but you know who's in second place there? Uh, Tom Steyer? Yeah. Like, I, I, could somebody explain that to me? That makes well, no sense to me at all. Well, no, it should make sense to you. They like Joe Biden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I just don't see how Tom Steyer comes in second. Like, that just baffles my mind. Yeah. He, I guess he spent a lot of money there. Really? Well, you would they, think. Well, they said eight, 18 million or something. I, I signed up for the uh, free stuff from Bloomberg. Uh, he he sends you a email, and uh, if you sign up, and it's free, uh, I'll get a scarf uh, or a head, head bandana. I get a pack of matches matches with a terrible picture of Trump on it, uh, and uh, then uh, I also it, it was for light the fuse, I guess, to blow blow up Trump, and then uh, what was the other thing? Oh, a button. Uh, a mic in 2020 button. Really? Yeah. And it says the free stuff will keep on coming. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to send you one so you can it sign? It looks like I'm getting close to the pineapple fields. Yeah. You're getting close to the pineapple fields? Yeah. Oh, okay. Boy, that you know something? They, you've got a great Wi-Fi signal in that country. I mean, it's all over the country. I mean, I'm, if, I'm on 4G right now. Yeah, but I mean, if you, uh, it, yeah, but I mean, if we, if you were doing, a, forget Wi-Fi. I mean, 4G. If we were doing that in a bus in the United States, you'd already gone off and on a couple of times. Ah, they would have stole the phone. Could be. <laughs> Could be. He would have been mugged Could by be right now. You know, I mean, really, I mean, we tend to think of ourselves as being so terrific and technologically proficient and we're really not it's all the fault of trump net if if trump didn't have anything to do with the internet it would be good you know no, alex some, some mm -hmm. youtubers will take a video of this trip and you know and the bus and the service and they will they'll get a uh, hundred thousand hits yeah right. they'll say, this is the, take the bus from al to singapore <laughs> yeah. You you're you're starting to sound like Biden, who said that a hundred and fifty a uh, hundred and fifty million people have died from uh, guns in this country uh, in the last I don't know how many years. Uh, so that's half the population in the United States. What he meant to say was one hundred and fifty thousand, but he said one hundred fifty million. And uh, so you you're starting with the gaffes, yeah. learning from Biden, the gaff monster. Uh oh. Oh, you getting sick? Uh oh. Uh, feeling warm. Yeah. Uh, it's quarantine time. Yeah. Do they? Oh, wait a minute. Do you I'm have? Not feeling too good. You're not feeling too good. You know, I just kind of. Maybe I should eat the hot dog now. Maybe that's the reason you don't feel good. <laughs> yeah, because it's lunchtime. 
You could be right. I oh, usually yeah, eat about that. And, and, and what would this show be without you having lunchtime? That's right. Okay. That is true. Now, what are you putting on this hot dog? You know, they probably just tuned this in and went, what the hell is going on here? What? <laughs> and pay for the hot dog. How much do you think? Okay, how much did I pay for the hot dog? How is that get for No, what? Uh, uh, what kind of hot is that? Just a regular hot dog? No, it's a pretzel dog. A pretzel dog. Huh. So I it's a hot. The it's a hot dog in a pretzel. Mm -hmm. So there's four of those things to a dollar in that country. Your currency. Yeah. So I bet you that's uh, five of the currencies. So that's a buck and a quarter, right? Um, no. This is a franchise from the States. Oh, so, so $3. Uh, Phil is incorrect. By the way, Bruce Conover writes, uh, oh, that's not very funny. You don't think Alex has ever followed through on his hundreds of threats to not do a show or end one early. I do make this threat all the time. Yeah. But this time I plan to, I plan to, uh, uh, we have another three minutes if nobody else calls. Uh, so Alex, did, yeah. did you take your guess at the amount? Um, uh, for your, Sam, your hot pretzel dog? Yeah. I'm <laughs> saying 60 cents. Really? Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Phil I was guessed a dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. That's what Phil yeah. Phil guessed that, but I haven't revealed the price yet. Well, uh, what what is the price? Well, how about you, Jeff? You gotta you gotta uh, wager a bet. Well, here. I would pick uh, two dollars. Oh, by the way, may I say a uh, screw you to to Kevin because he called and now I have to do more show. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. You're screwed. Yeah. Okay, so that Kevin gets. How much is uh, Bree's pretzel dog, hot dog? Uh, let's see, because it's a, it's an American pretzel dog and it was shipped over there. All right, that... It was made somewhere in Missouri. Uh, yeah. Four ninety five. I'm, really? Well, I, okay. I said sixty cents. Maybe I'm wrong. I'd say a dollar ten. Well, four ninety five here, and probably a, you know a two dollars and ten cents there. I was a buck and a half, and I was wrong. Jeff, get one in on this. I said two. Yep, two. Jeff, I is said two. The closest without going over. Oh, okay. So it's like the price Ooh. is right, is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Hey, Does this mean I can get twenty five? How dressed, much? Come on down. Two twenty five. What was it? Well, I said two ten. Wow. So it's well, I, I, oh, you did. That's a very expensive I pretzel said dog. Kevin. I said four ninety five over here, and then shipped over there is probably two ten. You know, uh, based on some of the meals that uh, Bree has been having lately, uh, that is a very expensive hot dog. Yeah. Uh -huh. But it looked good. Mm hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, it it, it 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 wouldn't cost you much more than that over here, actually, yeah. to tell you the damn truth, you know. In the mall is one of those uh, uh, pretzel places. It's like a kiosk, and and the pretzel, just the pretzel, is like four ninety five. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Uh, and, you, and you wait in line for it. Well, it must be one damn good pretzel. Well, they're not bad. I, I can't remember the name of it. It might be that Annie's. I I, I don't th I don't think it's Annie's. I don't remember what the Wetzel's Wetzel's pretzels. Yeah, that's what it is. I was yeah. almost going to say a Yetzel's. Dozen of the pretzels. little dinky ones for like six bucks or something, and then you got to pay fifty cents for a little thing of cheese. Yeah, well, that's pretty cheesy. Yeah, it is. <sighs> well, those are the, no those, are, those are the more doughy uh, kinds of. Pretzels, right? That's like what you're eating is a doughy pretzel, right? It's a Noah bagel with uh, with uh, jalapenos on it. By the way, California has a thing called Noah's bagels. You know what we're talking about, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Are they still around? 
Yeah, oh, Jeff Packer yeah. was owned those, by some big those, those were the worst bagels ever made. Well, they're not they're water bread. Bagels. They're bread. They're bread. They weren't pretzels. They were big, big lie. I mean, everybody would go, "Do Jews really eat these?" You if, know, if people. There's no water bagel places around. You know, they they make the bagels. They put them in water. They, they, they have water uh, bagels. They, they have water bagels in San Francisco. Well, who? I used to. My mother used to get them all the time. Yeah. Well, now Noah's has put them all out of business, and all you got is chewy bread. No, I'm sure there. You, I'm sure you can get a a a, a, a bagel, a, a water bagel. It, yeah. In, in, yeah. In fact, in fact, I remember buying one. God, down in the South Bay in a mall. There was a place in Walnut Creek called um, uh, was Bagel King. And I think those are water bagels, but, uh, you know, they don't make them there anymore. So they may be buying them from Noah's. No, Noah's isn't a bagel. It isn't a bagel. You no, know. It's true. Right. I haven't seen a, a bagel place that really boils water anymore. Well, no, H&H &H still, really? still does. They closed the store. They closed the storefront. But they still make the bagels. They make the bagels for, you know, for Zabars and for Fairway and for everybody. Yeah. When I make my pretzel buns, they, it's almost like making a bagel. It's just the last part you put a you put a egg wash on them and that browns them up. That's right. But the thing is that uh, people... But if I you, boil if, them. If, if people want to know where they've heard about H&H &H bagels before, that's where Kramer worked. Yeah. Uh, where he where he had gone on strike and the strike was over, so he went back to work for him. That's on the uh, on the uh, uh, Festivus show. Yeah, huh. so that that they they actually use the real name of places like H and H Bagels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, but H &H. and that and that place uh, the, the uh, uh, deli that they would go eat at, uh, and I don't remember the name. But uh, you know, they, that's a real place too, isn't it? Yeah, but it isn't. Uh, it isn't called what they called it on the show. Oh, really? No. Uh, it's uh, what, what's the name of it? And I know uh, the name of it. I, I, it's it's over on on Broadway, right near Columbia. Uh, yeah. What the hell is it? Um, if they if they had shot a little more to the right, they would have had the name of it on the show. I see. But they just they made it so it just said whatever. Well, maybe the owner wanted a lot of money to have the name on the show, and uh, so they decided to shoot to Listen, the left. Listen, he's made more money off of that place because it was on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, Product uh, Let me see. The Seinfeld Diner. What's the name of it? Uh, Seinfeld Diner. You've got 27 listening, and, and we haven't talked about anything. Well, that's not a lot. Twenty-seven. That's that's not bad for what we've given them. The Seinfeld Diner's you put name. The, okay. Put the tag it, on the show okay. Show. Okay. It's it called. Says, it's called. Uh, the, it's called Tom's Restaurant. Tom's. Yeah. Yeah. It's called Tom's Restaurant. In fact, uh, for people who want to see it, I will show you. Uh, uh, let me see here. Let me go to my uh, screen. There we go. Let me. Uh, let me just do a little transition here you see they you, you know that folks right but if you, you see it says tom's if you look at it up there i, I won't see, see it. right up there it says tom's restaurant and what they did is they would cut it off about there on the show and, oh, and that's what they would show yeah the restaurant inside looks nothing like the one inside uh, mm. yeah um here we can go here i think we'll get a, a bigger picture of it if i there, there we go. There's oh, Tom's restaurant. Just coughed. I see it. See? Okay. Some member just coughed. Yeah. Sneezed. Yep. 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 So I'm dead. Basically, I'm dead, Alex. Basically, you're dead. You think you've got it? Oh, oh, I can guarantee you at this point. He uh, had it. A couple of weeks ago. On this I thought you said you had it once before. Yeah. Yeah. I believe I, mean, I did. Something. Now I'm sure. Yeah. Well, anyway, in case you just tuned in, uh, we're watching uh, Bree get the coronavirus. Yes. Um, he's in. Uh, uh, Thanks yeah. to OCBC Bank. Uh. Now there's a there's a Corona California, isn't there? Yes. 
I wonder if they get the not coronavirus. Anymore. <laughs> not anymore. They're <laughs> changing the name of it. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Can no. you can't you buy a Corona beer, right? Right. right. Yeah, you used to be. used to be. <laughs> That's how you get rid of the virus. You know, they they have ads all the time on TV, but I haven't seen any lately. Mm. You know. It's kind of like, you know, you know who had the same problem. Remember, remember there was a diet pill or something it took. Tylenol? No, it was called AIDS. A Y D S. A Y D S. And they, for years, they would not give up on that name. They would not give up on it. I think finally one day they just said, oh, crap. We, we can't fight this any longer. You know, um, you know, what do you say on the ads? Hey, everybody, get AIDS. You know, I mean, it just doesn't, it doesn't work. So I heard that, uh, like, the Chevy Nova mm -hmm. uh, in, yeah. in, in South America, Nova meant something like does not go. Doesn't go. Yeah. yeah, and so uh, they had to change the name of the Chevy Nova. Well, and in every in every country in the world besides the United States, uh, the um, um, locale Coca Cola wasn't known as Diet Coke. It was known as Coke Light, mm. because Diet in a lot of other languages meant like death or something like that. It, it, it had a very negative connotation. And it was only in this country that we called it Diet Coke. Yeah. You know. So. Yeah, yeah diet's well, In Coke. Africa, yeah. they put the image of the product on the label of the, of the product. So when Gerber baby food moved into the African market, mm -hmm. uh, it caused a lot of trouble for the people because they put a baby on the label and then you can't put a baby on the label of something maybe they wanted a black but baby they were they whatever you put on the label yeah is the food inside the jar oh i see okay <laughs> yeah well who, who doesn't like a good baby now and then you know <laughs> Pureed baby. Pureed baby. Um, so, but anyway, so uh, the stocks are, are just going. I mean, it, this has been, I think they say this is maybe the worst week ever, something like that. I mean, it, it's coming close to the worst we've ever seen. Well, <clears throat> from the beginning of the, this year, have been eroded. Oh, they've been eroded three That's times, <clears throat> Phil. Uh, That's going to. Yes, yeah. yes, after the first day when they lost a thousand, they said all this year's gains have been lost. Mm -hmm. This is now all the gains times three. And wow. he's blaming it on the debate. Is he really? That's what I, was, I thought he was saying the other day at the, at the press conference. He's saying all that noise at the debate and everything went down. But then he didn't mention the fact that it was going down before the debate. And he also, I wonder what he's saying today. Yesterday he went on the air to try and calm everybody's fears so the stock would go up. That's and, a reasonable thing. And look yeah, what, and, and it look, didn't. And it look went what down it, more. It went down more than it did the day before. But it's yeah. going down worldwide. All the other stock markets are having Not that. like this. Oh, he has a real big effect, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> well, the Trump virus, I mean. I mean, it's, hurt, it's, hurt, it's hurting business worldwide, absolutely. I mean, when, when China is down 40%, okay, uh, that's a large part of the world market. I mean, that, the, the world depends upon that economy to be stable. Yeah. And it's not, you know. Um, that's more reason to invest in the U.S. But, but why? Why should we invest, invest in this crummy We're piece of stable, crap country? More huh? We're stable and no, you know we're, no we're uh, not we phil so few, no we're not we have so no, few phil, cases phil, i'm if, so tired of you knowing everything all right uh, fuck it you fuck. know <laughs> i'm really i'm tired <laughs> of it phil outside of the city limits listen i'll tell you right now i'd rather live in malaysia right now yeah Bree seems to be enjoying it yeah. oh yeah oh there are things i can't even tell you alex what do you mean? <laughs> the banking. I'm just saying. You, you, yeah, other than the banking. You, you really, are there any monkeys in those trees? Yes. Yeah, there are. Oh, 
Can you go out and catch one for us while you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, wow. Well, this. You know. What other? What a wonderful world we live in. When I'm sitting here, um, uh, dealing with somebody on a bus in Malaysia, which is half a world away, right? The other yep. side yeah. of the globe. And he's, you know, he's really, uh, he's really uh, giving us a nice little trip, and we're traveling with him. And, uh, yeah, you can put, the, Phil, you can put that, uh, that green screen all over yourself and make yourself disappear. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if I get a green screen, I'm not going to be able to wear anything Live. green anymore. But then again, I don't wear anything green anyway. So, you know, uh, I don't need to. You leprechaun, you. Um, but do you have do you do you have money in stocks at all, Kevin? I have one stock, and it looks it looks like it's having a heart attack right now. It goes down, <laughs> and then it goes up, and then it goes down. I mean, it had like a ten dollar swing in the last week. Really? What what stock is it? It's Square. It's what? Square. It's that card reader, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. It, I, I think uh, the guy from Twitter. Well, he's probably not there anymore. But the guy from Twitter has that business. Yeah, and then you square. take the you take the thing and you put it in the uh, input of a of an iPhone, right? Yeah, and then yeah, you can a, swipe cards a, through it. Yeah. What made you buy that specific stock? It was an IPO, and I bought it at. When they first got in, my wife has a jewelry business and she uses it for her business. And they gave us an opportunity to buy it like 12 bucks. Hmm. And it's now up in the 80 range. And Ooh. I sold some of it at 90, but it's sitting up and around 75, 80 now. It's done <clears> that <throat> well, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's good for small businesses and stuff like that. You know. Yeah, it's real. It's real good. It's got a low. It's one of the lower interest rates and things like that. That you don't have big fees on it and stuff like that. You pay like it, PayPal does. I've got. I've got one. Occasionally, people want to buy uh, photography stuff like pictures, and and uh, if I decide that I'm going to charge them, uh, I I can use the Square thing. It's free. It just yeah. plugs your iPhone or your iPad, and you can uh, run the card through. What did I yeah. buy? What did I buy from you? And you put me on your uh, your credit card uh, thing. That might have been it. Yeah, well, might have been. That's the probably it. Yeah. Uh, you, I, oh, that computer. Uh, the the Mac. Oh, Mini. the Mac, Mac Mac Mini. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I bought it from you. Yeah. Yeah, because I think PayPal charges you like three percent a transaction or something, don't they? Uh, yeah. Two point seven, yeah. something like that. Yeah. 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 I got a reader for. Uh, PayPal too. You can do that with PayPal. That Mac Take Mini, card, after it broke down and I had it fixed. Well, after you plugged it into uh, to a thing that blew it up. Yeah, that yeah. blew it yeah. up. <laughs> uh, I I now Marjorie uses it. You know, it's good, still good, and it hang, it it hangs in there very nicely. It was the fastest thing you could get at the time. Well, not no, uh, it wasn't the Mac. fastest thing you could get. No, the fastest Mac Mini. Yeah, yeah. I had a buy it special uh you, you couldn't just get it from apple right well you could get it from apple but you couldn't go to the apple store and get it right yeah yeah uh no it, you know it was, a, it was a good little little uh item that they created uh i still love i love my um my trash, trash can. can oh i love the trash can it's been terrific especially since uh um, well, it's like a brand new one since they fixed everything in it for four hundred dollars. That yeah. seems to happen to you a lot. Uh, uh, First, I, I think I, I think I buy it from bad sources. Yeah, what really. The problem is <laughs> no. What happened was I bought it on eBay, and two months in, the whole thing just goes fritz on me. And so I go down to uh apple and they take it in and they go oh it's the uh, it's the memory board it'll cost you 400 bucks to replace okay oh, uh, or, or no a graphics card one of the graphics cards so they i replace it and they take it home and the thing isn't working and i take it back to them and they say well 
you know, we have a policy here that if we send you home with it and it still isn't working, we take care of it till it's fixed for that mm. same price. And so they send it down to Houston and they replace about three quarters of the parts in the damn thing. And they send it back to me and within two days, it's not working right. So I had to take it back. So they had to send it back and they replaced about the other quarter that they hadn't replaced the first time. So it's like I have almost everything inside this trash can is brand new and they sent it back to me and for 400 bucks I had a brand new uh, trash can. But yeah. one which I would have to pay something like close to $8,000 for. Do you know what the new, new one would cost you uh, with the same power? You looked at that uh, uh, grinder. Oh, oh it, 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 to begin with, they start at, you know, at uh, six or eight thousand, six thousand, something like that. Yeah, but what's very funny, you know, they just came out with the wheels for the new Mac Pro. Yeah, they have wheels for them because the thing is prohibitively heavy. So if you want to pick it up, and move it across the room, or to another office, or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, if you have wheels on it, you just wheel it over. Well, uh, Apple is selling the wheels for $400. Do you know what to sell the stand for the monitor? Well, for? Let me finish the story, Phil, please. Well, I thought you did. No, I wasn't. So it, it's the, the, uh, it was at $400 for these stupid wheels, okay? And guess what they didn't put on them? A lock. Yeah. So you can't lock the wheels. So if you're, it, it, if let's say it's on a slant or something, it's going to roll. It, you know, it doesn't happen. So um, somebody put an ad out, uh, put up a tweet that made it look like it was that coming from Apple, coming from uh, what's his name, the guy's the head of Apple, and it uh, said yeah. announcing the new uh, Apple lock, and it's like a, a chuck. Yeah, real chuck. <laughs> and it says. Nine nine ninety nine a wheel. <laughs> well, uh, did you did you look at their monitor and the stand for the monitor? It doesn't come with a stand. The stand no, is no, a no, 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 it, stand. it has a stand, but it doesn't have a stand that adjusts. If you yeah. want the one that adjusts, that's a thousand dollars. Yeah. What for? You know, I'm sure there are parties coming out with third-party attachments for it that will do the same thing, and they'll sell it to you for fifty bucks. Well, you, know. you know, I was thinking about getting a camera that's uh, a German camera. It's called a Leica, and it's two thousand dollars more than the Panasonic version. They call that two thousand dollars the Leica tax. Now, this new thing might be the Apple tax. You know, that, you know they're charging these outrageous. Well, Leica has been around for years. Yeah, but there's a new camera out that uh, uh, mirrorless full frame called the SL2, and uh, uh, it, I've been intrigued with it, but not enough to spend ten thousand bucks for one body and one lens. Yeah, so twelve thousand actually. Really? Not, not going to do it. No, I don't. I don't think there's any reason to. Is there? No. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is. You know, I, I want it, but uh, I'm not buying it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got to be a doctor uh, to to buy Leica. You know, those are the only guys that buy it. Really? Neurosurgeons and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. You see. Oh. They got uh, they got a f you know money. Mm-hmm. Demonetization money. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know. Uh, so anyway, uh, let me see here. Um, so uh, they definitely have been in business forever. Who Leica? Yeah. Oh, Leica! Leica has been in business forever. Yeah, we're losing audience like crazy. This show is. This show, I don't blame you, folks. This show is really boring tonight. Uh, well, you're twenty-eight. I mean, you had twenty-seven before. Yeah. By the way, it said that my, my live video is not being monetized. I just rebooted here, and it went to a commercial. <laughs> just because they play a commercial doesn't mean that you get the money, right? Huh? If they play a commercial and they say it's not being monetized, no, no, that no, 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 no. It says the we they may still run commercials by advertisers who don't mind being on 
a, a show which the monetization has been questioned. It's just that some not monetizing it means that advertisers who have who object to questionable programming will not be placed at the beginning of your program. That doesn't so there, mean they or, won't. Therefore, gold will be always advertised on your program. That's right. This was a <laughs> VPN ad, an Express yeah. VPN. Uh, VPN, yeah. Yeah. Uh, please buy all your stuff from Express VPN, folks. Even though, yeah. what do I use? Uh, I don't like. I don't like VPN. Not Nord, like I do. Nord, yeah. I don't yeah. like VPN. I, I, I use CyberGhost. See, I now we're VPN. now we're down to twenty-three people. Yeah. Well, I 20. guess I guess because we're not arguing. The last night we were arguing, we got up to like thirty-nine. Yeah. Or if you kiss Marge. What? You kiss girlfriend. What do you mean I kiss girlfriend? What do you mean? Yeah, when you that usually brings the numbers up, right? Yeah. So you bring her on out. It says bring back Kathleen. She's the best. I don't know where Kathleen has been. she had been. I think I've been working her hard at uh, at Costco. She's been Facebook. Yeah. See her posts. And we never. Everybody go over to her Facebook page and tell her how much you think she's great on this show and to call. Yeah. She posted a picture of her mother, who was a nurse, and it, it was she, her mother looks like a movie star. Well, it was. It did. Uh, yeah. Her mother died. I know. Yeah. But it was an early picture of her mother. Maybe oh, yeah. she was in yeah. her early 20s. Oh, they were a very handsome couple. Yeah, I met them when they were older. You know, very nice people. Very nice people. Well, let's Kathy's see here. Very good on the show. What? I I think she's very good on the show. Yeah, that's why I, I, I'm we miss yeah. having her on. You know, uh -huh. I'll write Charlene, her. Charlene too. I'll write her a note. What? And Charlene. Oh, don't well. encourage that, please. No. No. Uh. -uh. Did I miss something? Yeah. Yes, you did. <laughs> uh, uh, she misses being. Yeah, miss she, she wrote me after uh, the the incident, and uh, was, oh, I must have missed something. Then. Yeah, she she's uh, a little hurt. You know, I told her time heals all. No. No. Okay. Well, <laughs> you know, I got enough problems with you, Phil. I don't need her. Yeah. <laughs> I can fix that. I, I guess you could. I guess you could. But anyway, so everybody, uh, if if you know if you know how to uh, find Kathleen online, just write her and say, please call the program. They need you. They desperately need you. Yeah. You know. yeah. Alex is tired of hearing from Phil. <laughs> well, no, I just like I like I, I liked her voice added to this mix. It was very nice. Mm -hmm. But tonight's just really slow. Yeah. Plus, there's nothing to talk about. I mean. What, are you going to talk about the same old stuff, you know? I mean, the coronavirus, okay, that's good for five minutes, you know? And and um, uh, uh, talk about Trump, God knows. I mean, that's a topic that's become so tiresome that, that why why talk about him, you know? Why? I would, I would, what, well, what were you going to say, Jeff? I hope he has a, a big heart attack. You're hoping for that heart attack, huh? I really am. You see, we shouldn't really wish that on our president, but you know, no. well, you know, it's a good possibility because he does but not. Your he monetization. Does, there are some people that honestly believe he's actually had a stroke because he is really mixing up. Sometimes he becomes totally. If you notice this in speeches, totally incoherent. I thought you were talking about uh, a Biden. Uh, but and also no. Pelosi, I think, had a stroke. You know how she's slurring her wait minute, words. Wait but but the president actually, I've, there are times when he actually just garbles every word to where he's not even. It sounds like he's speaking in tongues. He's from Queens. Have you listened to Tony? You know, you listen well, to. Tony. I think it has a lot to do with the dental work. <laughs> what? Who? Biden? No, and Trump. Uh, and Trump. Yeah, maybe they got the same dentist. Could be. <laughs> yeah. You know, there was one thing, Alex. I, I, we haven't heard from Rob 
but there was a, a pretty big uh, news item out of the Philippines recently mm-hmm. because they are going to cancel the treaty with the U.S. Um, and and I, I was wondering if Rob had been following that uh, story at all. What, you know, tr- what tre- Nobody really mentions it. What treaty with the U.S.? Well, we have a treaty with them. Uh, base there, and I thought they yeah. threw us out of the base. Well, they're doing that now, but now it's like a complete dissolution of the treaty completely. Why? So, Why? What's the reason? Um, oh, gosh. There were... That's why I wanted to see if Rob knew, because I haven't been able to follow it exactly. I just know that it's happened. Mm-hmm. And um, it's, it's, it hasn't gotten a lot of news, but I think it's pretty big news. Bruce Conover says something here, that Trump is uh, the only president where if he had a heart attack, the Dow would rise a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> then the next day, everybody would have the realization that that lowlife Pence is president, and it would go down 2,000, you know. so <laughs> I, I heard some... Uh, uh, Not a- if nobody told them, they wouldn't know. <laughs> I heard some media today, not media, some uh, theory that uh, be, what uh, Trump was doing was setting up Pence to fail with this corovi- uh, coronavirus, and then he was going to appoint his daughter, Ivanka, as vice president, and then she would run in 2020. So uh, that's that's the... Um, <clears throat> And the normal conditions, I would say, oh, that's incredulous. But <laughs> it's Trump we're talking about, so it isn't incredulous. Oh, yeah, he would like to see Don Jr. run, be the next person to run for president. He'd love to see a Trump dynasty in there. Yeah. You know. So would I. Yeah, because you, because you don't know what's good for you. Mm. How's your stocks doing, Phil? I'll know tomorrow. <laughs> Because I was talking I, to my friend Shecky, and he said, "Man, have I lost a lot of money this week?" My my ex did all the stock market stuff, and that stuff all stayed with her after the. And I never re I never invested in the stock market. I don't gamble. I don't do those kinds. I don't even think about those things. So I'm opening up a Charles Schwab account in the morning, uh, and I'm going to buy uh, the S and P index. Yeah. Well, you got to buy certain stocks in the S and P index. No. Oh, you buy the you buy the index. Oh, you buy the mm-hmm. index. I see. That's yeah. a spider. You gonna do that tomorrow? Yeah. You're nuts. <laughs> well, I think that it's probably gone down just about as much. It's a pretty good correction. And uh, you oh, know, this isn't a correction, Phil. Monday. This isn't a correction. <laughs> well, I think I think that this this is a buying opportunity. I really see it as an opportunity. So I'm 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 going to I'm going to get it the goes market. down further, Phil. Yeah, and you know, I decided that next in in a few more months I get social security. So I was opening up this account and I was just going to dump the social security in it every month uh until the day I actually retire. And then if I live long enough, I can spend it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you can only Oh yeah, that's right. Well, I'll I was be gonna say you can only put so much in. Uh, you know, I'll be sixty-six in June. I won't get a penalty for taking the Social Security at sixty-six. No, you want to take it at sixty-six. Yeah. Well, I don't think I'll live to seventy-six. So no, I but you want to take it at sixty-six. You don't want to wait till seventy-two. I took it early because I needed it at sixty-two, but I kept working enough that I made up for it. Yeah. You know, so I didn't. Yeah, but- you know. You get you get higher interest if you wait. Yeah, but what I'm saying is is if you if you wait till you're seventy two, you might not make it that far to begin with. But yeah. secondly, uh it's it just doesn't balance out right. If you do it at sixty six, it's the sweet when, spot. when is the first year you can absolutely take it? I think it's sixty six in like a third or something like that now. Uh, it depends on ah, your okay. birthday. I was born in 54, so I could take it at 66. If I was born in 55, I think that's when it, yeah, you have to wait a little bit longer. I took it when I was 62. And as I say, but I, I, because I was broke at the time and I needed the money. Uh, but then I went to work at Sirius, 
And because I kept working, I kept adding money to my Social Security, so now I'm getting paid about what I would have gotten paid if I would cashed in at 65. Okay. The maximum. But I, I'm in the fund here. Huh? You're in the what? The front. In the, the the version, uh, the Malaysian version of Social Security. Uh huh. Oh, okay. It's called EPF. Yeah, yeah. So oh. I mean, you know, I mean, um, but the the fact of the matter is that uh, it, I, you know, uh, it just uh, it it's not uh, it's it's not good. Uh, well, and when you took it. Uh, did they penalize you if you made money? So, for instance, no, now, no. for every dollar, two dollars I make over sixteen or seventeen thousand dollars, if I took it early, uh, they would penalize me one dollar of Social Security. Why? Why no? Yeah, that, that's the way it's done now. If you take it early, if you take it early, yeah. So I think if you make over thirty or forty thousand dollars a year, you don't see a penny. From the Social Security, so it didn't make any sense to take it at sixty-two. Well, if you take it at sixty-two, you take it at sixty-two. You just you oh, know we're, you, you then cashed, you ca cashed in at that at that at that level. You don't get as much as you would have gotten if you had waited till you were sixty-five. If you're still working, that's they penalize you. Uh, so no, they, they, I, they, I just want to point out we're passing a very famous resort town in Malaysia called Malacca. Malacca. Oh, it's at Auschwitz. Uh, <laughs> I'm watching the uh, Yeah. Basically, Sorry, it's it, a nice place. What? If you put the tag on YouTube, uh, we could probably get 5,000 hits. <laughs> if, if I put a tag on what? Uh, bus from KL to Malacca. From KL to Malacca? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and onward to Singapore. Yeah, um, and, and, but um, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say now. Uh, Social Security oh, and that. Uh, all I'm saying is that the, know, yeah, the Social now. Security is uh, you know if you take it at 66, that's that's really the optimum time to do it. If you yeah, do well, they, they there's no I don't think there's any maximum on what you can make if you're still working. Uh, so that's why I figured, well, Hey, well, no, there, know, no, there's, stick. there's, a, there's a maximum, there's a maximum amount. Uh, uh, if you wait till you're 72, I think it's just, there's more, a little bit more money you make, but the difference is not going to be worth it for the money right. you're giving up. Okay. Unless you may, you may 115. Well, if you start taking it at, uh, at, uh, 65 or 66 now, uh, you're, you're going to, each, you're not going to you're not going to wind you're going to wind up uh, probably just making the right amount of money that way. Plus, yeah. you don't know if you're going to make it to seventy two. You know, right. and let's say you make seventy five, you're still going to have only have about three years that you were making money off Social Security, where you could have been making it since the time you were sixty six. And you're only getting uh, what eight percent a year additional. I have no idea what it is. Yeah. What so it is. let's say you took it at 67 mm -hmm. and you got it at 66. I think they pay you another 8% uh, up to a maximum of like 130 something percent. Well, all I know is I get something like twenty one, twenty two hundred dollars $2,200 a month, you know. And then, of course, then they take out for Medicare and they take out for a few other things before we're through. I, I take in about 1900 I think, something like that, you know. Yeah. Welcome to Singapore. Welcome to uh, Singapore. What what is that now? Is that something they have to fill out a uh, entry ticket? I guess it's a different country. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Oh, so you have to fill that out and let them know. That yeah. You, yeah. How but, long are you going to be there? And just like Hawaii, that's right? That's right. Yeah. Is it much to fill out? Yeah. It is a lot to fill out. Yeah, I brought a pen. There is a lot to fill out, I, but I did bring a pen. Well, so why, you know, since there. this show is so boring, why don't you just fill it out here on the air and tell us what you're, <laughs> what you're doing? And you nothing can put like, on YouTube nothing like watching out. a guy fill out for, forms on up. on YouTube. That's what YouTube was made for: was somebody filling yes. out passports. Are, are you sure that bank is open today? <laughs> I'm sure that they are open on Saturdays and Sundays. Yes. Really? Wow. Yeah, they are. It's Singapore. Singapore mm. does that kind of thing. Yeah, and even if not, if there's some issue, I can 
just uh, have my ticket changed, come back on Monday afternoon. But uh, I'm so hoping. What, to when are you, when are you planning on going back today? No, uh, Sunday at about uh, three thirty p.m. I'll leave Singapore oh. and head back to so, so Kuala you, Lumpur. You, you can call us tomorrow from Singapore, and uh, uh, y you know we can. Well, it works back in, uh, in Singapore, and uh, why couldn't you open up some, an account with like a, a, a U.S. bank and draw on your funds anyway? Oh, there's a bunch of solar panels there. I don't know if you can see them. It's amazing. It's a solar farm. And then over here, they got a bunch of Wait a minute. Wait track out. Um, but yeah, um, but I do, Phil. I, I have uh, an account in the States. Uh, apparently, I still have an account in Dubai. They haven't closed it yet. And I have an account in Malaysia. So, U.S., Malaysia, Singapore, and Dubai. Boy, I think we lost him. We may have actually lost him. Hmm. I have damn Singapore cell yeah, service. It's a lovely place. But it's a, a nice crazy. place. Oh, wait a minute. No, here we go. Just a little crazy. Crazy. There we go. They're back again. Yeah. It's amazing yeah. how right. pretty consistent the signal has been for the last hour and a half. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It was better than uh, I, I was just get in a car or anything. Yeah. I, obviously, it is an AT&T, you know, <laughs> yeah. or, or Fios or whatever. You know, but uh, Verizon. Uh, but I mean, what 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 cell service do you have? What country do you have? I mean, what what's the company? I have a, the company is called Cellcom, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of different there's a lot of different uh, you know providers here. But uh, I'm going through a very mount, sort of mountainous or hilly area, so that could affect it. But uh, Cellcom is kind of known as the Countryside uh, service, yeah. like it's it's for the, yeah, the, the people who live in villages. It's not like a city service. Wow, it's just um, it's, I, I didn't know that. It's like they have they have cell service everywhere now and there. Uh, what also is amazing to me is you don't do you pay a lot of extra money because of this call? No, I don't. Um, I pay about uh, eight dollars a month. And uh, that covers pretty much everything I need to do. Yeah, but I mean, uh, if you're I can, if you're in like Singapore, will it cover you in Singapore? No, uh, there I will pay two dollars a day, uh, you know, to keep things Whoa, going. Oh, geez, what, we really get ripped off in this country, don't we, folks? <laughs> For everything. I mean, really, we do. Yeah. We absolutely get ripped off. It's terrible. It's They're horrible. even going to charge us for the coronavirus pretty soon. <laughs> Yeah. And the lime. Yeah. Yeah. You know, lime I, surcharge. On that scuba trip, we didn't have any cell service where we were about 40, 50 miles off the offshore uh, in the Bahamas. And uh, one of the guys on the boat had a satellite phone. And I, I called home on, on the satellite phone. And it was a very interesting thing. I, you know, you go up on deck. And you're able to you're able to connect. I don't know how much that call cost him. <laughs> well, I think he just probably pays for the ser bucks. no no. He probably pays for month service by the month, and probably can use it anytime, anywhere he wants to. For that is how I think that thing goes. But it's very expensive. Yeah, you know. So your guy must have had a lot of fu money. Yes, he does. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because if I had a lot of fu money, what I would do before. Tuesdays buy as many hookers as humanly possible, but then well, after, uh, after he, Tuesday I won't need them any longer. So. Well, he had so much fu money, he let everybody use his phone. It was like, hey, yeah, just yeah, there it is. You know, ha help yourself. That's the that's the code. <laughs> wow, wow, that's amazing. Well, we only got three minutes left here. I actually made it through the show. Yes, whoever wrote is right. It's the hundredth time I've said I was going to end the show early. And I was going to quit and go home and never do the show again and other things like that. And once again, I have lied. But that was only because Kevin called. And when Kevin Thank calls, you, Kevin. I can't hang up from Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. That's like, I screwed that's you over that's... again. <laughs> yeah, you I'm screwed up. me over again. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah. Everything good with your health? How's your health doing there, Kevin? Okay. Be- Just trying to shrink that prostate. I'm trying to shrink How the prostate. I got to do that. Shrink your prostate? Well, you know what you do is you just don't feed it. Yeah. Uh, If I don't, they're going to zap it with a laser in a few months, so. Zap it with a laser? What do you mean, what what for? That test last week, they said it was was getting bigger and that some medial thing in there is going to, if I don't keep taking them pills and they don't shrink, they're going to go in there with a a pew-pew and zap it. Uh, is uh, that... They told me that seven years ago. I never went I back. never in any of the stuff I with my prostate ever had them talk about using a laser to do something to it. Uh, isn't there something called a terp? I don't know how they do it. I don't know well, if that, it's a laser. That, that's, that's just uh, scraping it's called off. called medial it's... lobe. Yeah. It, 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 they, the terp is used uh, for uh, they scrape off a little bit of the prostate to sh- shrink it, to make it smaller. Now, that may be what they're going to do with the laser. Yeah. I, can, I can show you pictures, but they probably lose your... <laughs> you lose what few people we have left here. You might increase the amount of people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, um, uh, I, I, I just want to get through this thing I'm going through and get it over and done with, you know. Um, and then he said chances are there's only a 92, uh, ni- uh, what, an eight, about an 8% chance that it might come back. Mm. Yeah, so, well, uh, you know, I figure the odds are on my side. You know? Now we've got two diseases that people get on this show. We get prostate cancer, and pretty soon we'll get the coronavirus from Brie. Yeah. Are you, are you coughing yet, Brie? A uh, little bit. Uh, Eyes tearing? Yeah. A uh, little bit. Well, well, sure have have a, 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 you know, what's going to be great about your weekend in uh, Singapore, any restaurant you want to go into, seating just like that. You know? yeah. Yes. Yeah, you're right. I, if I were you, I would, stay, right. I would stay in your hotel room and order in. Yeah. No, I can't do that. And by the way, folks, don't buy those little flimsy masks that people are putting on their face. That won't do a damn thing for you. Uh, that will just yeah. make just make you look really cool and make you look like you belong on a doctor show. Like <laughs> Unless yeah. you already have a cough. Yeah. Well, there's our theme song, folks. It's playing. Uh, uh-huh. Thanks, thanks to Bree who has taken us. What? How many miles do you figure we've gone on the show? Maybe ninety miles. Yeah. yeah. Easily. Ninety miles. Through Malaysia, as he wings his way to Singapore, doesn't wing his way, wheels his way to Singapore. And uh, thank you, Phil, so much. Uh, you were very nice tonight. We didn't have to get into any Trump stuff, but I veered you away from it. So, Jeff, good seeing you again. And, of course, Kevin, always nice to see you as well. Uh, everybody, give a big uh, wave goodbye, and I'll give you a wave goodbye back, okay? There we go. There they go. That's our um, that's our citizen panel uh, for tonight. Let me hang up on them here so that I can make the uh, the, the uh, thing ready for. Oh, that's why nobody was calling. I was invisible. <laughs> yeah, looks like I was invisible. Hmm. Ah, eh, who cares? Anyway, we had a little bit of fun. That was okay. It worked out well. Uh, we didn't talk about much, and we saw a lot of scenery and what have you. Anyway, I'm Alex Bennett. That's it. Uh, Jack Bishop is next. He's here with The Intersection. Next, over most of the same GabNet. In the meantime, I'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time. Same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye.